Oh, hurrah, here we are again. It's very, very late uh, October. The, in fact, the clocks have just gone back last night. Uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And so I'm going out for a ride on my matchless uh, because I've only had one ride on it, really, since I sorted all the problems out. It's taken me a year to sort the problems out. And now, as far as I know, touch wood, they are sorted. So I had a ride before. So now I'm going to go out for a long ride today, you know, just to, to check that everything's okay and really to enjoy the bike because it's taken me, you know, every year to get it sorted. So this is my 1937 Matchless Model X, a 1000cc V-twin side valve. Same engines that they used in some of the uh, Breath Superior bikes. Um, the thing about and it's got things like Gerda Forks, it's pre-war. Uh, I say pre-war. <laughs> These days you go like which war, but never mind. Um, but it, it's a it's a bits of bike. This so it was actually made or it was registered in uh, July 1941. And as we know from factory records, what they did, uh, they stopped production of these in 39 to go on to war production, mainly uh, singles, 350, 500 singles for the war. And, um, but what they did was they, they had a few bits left over around the factory and, and they made a few bikes after production finished um, with the bits that were left over and, and this appears to be one of them. Because I say it's a 37 and officially it is a 1937. <laughs> People have argued with me, <laughs> but it is a 37 because the frame turns out to be a 1937 frame, whereas it's got a later gearbox. I think it's a 38 gearbox. It's um, it's got the slightly later primary chain case. At one point, it even had telescopic forks put on. I think maybe when it was originally built, I'm not sure. At some point, it actually had telescopic forks on, and the engine. So well, the engine is stamped as a 40 but um, when we check the factory records there's no such record of our, our, this engine in the factory um, so we really don't know we don't know if it's been re-stamped and why would it be re-stamped we don't know um, you know it's obviously a Model X engine it is a later engine it's not a 37 engine it is later so um that's all we know so but officially it's a 37 because the frame you always date a bike by the frame but it is a sort of bits of bike anyway love it to bits and uh so without further ado uh we, we're going to get out and uh see how we do it's a lovely day but because it's so late in the year it's very cold so i'm hoping that i can manage to uh you know to get i want i want to do my full ride today get out to money ash but um you know, we'll see how we go, see how cold I am. I, unfortunately, these days, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a bit old and I do feel the cold. I do, unfortunately. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. So, uh, yeah, we're all set. Hopefully, we'll start first kick. And then to get a bit of petrol, and then we'll set off. Uh, it has been starting first kick or second or third. <laughs> of course, when I did the video, it started third. But, um, you know, we should be okay. Uh, we should be okay. Right. Okay. Enough chat. Let's uh, let's get out there.
Okay, so we've made it out to glorious Money Ash. Oh yeah. And the boat's going really well. Uh, I'm very happy with it. The only, um, you know, it's going well. The only problem I had, it started first kick this morning. First kick. You know, it's cold, it's yucky, and it first kick, bang, no problem, straight off. Then I stopped, uh, just stopped for a little break. No, no, it didn't stop, no. I'm not talking about. I, I drove to the petrol station, which is about a quarter of a mile, half a mile from my house. Uh, fine, petrol, great. Would it start? No. <laughs> now, I tickled it, and I'm thinking in retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have tickled it. I don't know. Uh, but it wouldn't start. So it did start, obviously, but it took about 12 kicks. It just didn't, nothing. You know, and then suddenly it started as if, you know, like there was no problem at all. So it's things like that. But I know, I know it's going okay, you know, and the bike's running well. It's definitely undergeared, I feel. Um, you know, it, 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 it definitely uh, definitely wants that a bit. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll do that over the winter. I'll, I'll, put, a, I'll, I'll put a higher gear on the... Uh, on the uh, engine sprocket uh, so you know it's quite it's very happy at 40 but it doesn't like go much faster than that and I'm fairly sure it just needs a higher gear it'll be okay uh, but yeah but very uh, very pleased very pleased uh, you know uh, you know we, we got it sussed you know the, the problems that the bikes had are generally overcome and uh, oh thanks just pop it on that table will you? thank you and, um, you know, so there's obviously just the sort of general ongoing stuff to do. But, the, you know, the, the, the basic problems we had, I think, are finally being addressed. So, so please. What have we got in? We've got a nice crowd in today. What have we got there? Uh, I haven't got any classics, I don't think. In. Is that my brekkie? Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll Oh shit. It's off now, yeah. I didn't, I didn't tickle it or anything. Just turn the petrol off.
Well, 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 here we are, back at home. After what well, it must be said was a, an eventful ride. Hmm, and uh, all is not well in the state of matchless. So, uh, yeah, started off well. I mean, started first kick. First kick is all damp and cold and everything. Nope, first kick, boom, off we go. First sign of a problem is to get to the petrol station and uh, it wouldn't start. About a 12 kick. Now, I put that down to the fact I didn't know whether to tickle it or, or not, but it was the first sort of question mark. As, you know, there was something that was a bit funny. Anyway, it seemed, seemed to be going okay. And, um, and I got, you know, anyway, I I deliberately didn't turn it off then till all the way till Money Ash got to Money Ash. Seemed to be okay. Had some, uh, you know, had something to eat, good natter with people. Then came to get on, back on the bike. The first thing that happened was petrol flooding everywhere, which I don't think is really the main problem, but is a problem. So as part of the fact it wouldn't start before one thing or another, and, blah, 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 and I didn't know the problem was really the magneto, was I refurbed the entire carb. And as part of that, that's a brand new float chamber, which cost me 200 quid because the um, because I messed about with a float needle, wondering if that was a problem. And um, basically, I think I buggered the float needle in in uh, in so doing. So it used to flood. So I bought a whole that's a whole new float chamber with new needle and new float. It's new top and everything. Uh, and yet I turned the petrol on, and there's petrol pouring out of the car. So it beats me because you know. It's a brand new float chamber, and it's not done that before, but it, of course it chose to do it at Money Ash. So there's a huge pool of petrol under the bike, number one. Number two, it wouldn't start. No, I mean, it wouldn't start. I mean, you know, it well, of course, I had this flooding of petrol to begin with, which, which didn't help matters. Um, and uh, anyway, then eventually, eventually, I had to sort of take on the club off again, and eventually it started. Um, and then so I set off for money ash and obviously a bit, phew, you know, under a bit of a cloud kind of thing. Anyway, got a few hundred yards away from money ash, opened the throttle properly and it just starts misfiring. And, um, and I, and I realised that's, that's the classic problem that I was having before, uh, with the magneto. That it will, for some reason, it'll only take half throttle. Put it on, uh put it on full throttle, uh, you know, open the throttle and it just starts misfiring. And, you know, and that's what it was doing all, all, the, all the way back. And and I was messing about with the petrol taps and, you know, as you do when it starts misfiring. And what I didn't realise was I'd inadvertently turned both petrol taps off. <laughs> so then about half a mile down the road, suddenly it... Uh, it cut out on me. Oh, I was thinking, oh no, it's AA job here, you know, or RAC in my case. Uh, because <laughs> I have to admit, I have to admit, I took the mad decision. I've got my tool roll here, which with all my tools in it, that fits inside the uh, lovely toolbox. You know, just about everything I can, just about rebuild the engine that lot. And I took that lot, but I took it out of the toolbox so that I could take a spare pair of heated gloves because I knew that my heated gloves wouldn't last long enough to get to Money Ash and back. It was really cold this morning. In fact, of course, it turns out it's been not as cold as I thought. The trouble is I've got two pairs of heated gloves, but the batteries are not compatible. You can't just take a spare pair of batteries. The, the batteries only work with that particular pair of gloves. So I actually took my toolkit out. I knew, it was, I knew I'd regret it. And I and I put my spare pair of gloves in there so that I could swap them over at Money Ash, which I did. But that meant I had nothing to work on the bike with at all. I couldn't do anything. Anyway, I then realised my mistake that I turned both the petrol taps off, and then I had to start the bike. But luckily, after about ten to kick, it did start again. But by then, I knew it was bad and it wasn't taking full throttle. And then, of course, I've had to come home. The main problem with coming home is there's a huge hill up on the way home. You're down in the valley, you know, 
from Sheffield you go up over the, like the mountain and back down into the valley and coming back it's reverse you're in the valley you come up over the mountain and back down into Sheffield so I've got this massive hill and of course it won't take and so I'm at half throttle so as we go up that hill it's getting slower and slower because you know it's one of those you open the throttle too much and then it starts misfiring so then you have to close the throttle by which time you've lost a bit of speed and you know anyway managed to get back just about but you know i can't and then the reason it's in the garage not outside is because i left it ticking over outside and then rode it straight in because i thought right you know i don't know if i'll ever start again and i had enough kicking it you know my i've got a bad foot that's why i have to kick the bike over quite i can't kick it over like on my instep it's that plasio fan fan titus thing you know, a lot of people have it. So very set. I, I damaged my foot years ago. I kicked something and it's never been right since. So I can't use my instep on the kickstart. I actually use my um, ball of my foot. Anyway, so I didn't fancy kicking over again. So I've ridden it in. So what I'm going to do is, I'm a bit crestfallen, but it's that damn magneto again. I know it is because that's the classic sign that it won't take, it's going, but it'll only take half roll. That's what I did last time so i'm gonna why the car was flooding i don't know let's leave that for now but i know the magneto is wrong again and that whole starting thing is the problem with that so i'm going to take it back off i'm going to send it off to be fully reconditioned again but a, a completely different company because obviously the first company that company i'm no way i'm ever going to say and send it there and, and ever again but that means i'm probably gonna have to pay full price again it cost me about 300 quid to have that reconditioned and now i'm gonna to have to spend another 300 quid to send it off to another company you know who are going to re 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 recondition it but you know and, and hopefully you know do a decent job because i know it's that damn magneto again that's a that's, that's gone it's gone again exactly as it did before before you know it ran for about sort of 10 miles 20 miles and then went and that's exactly what's happened this time at the the first time it happened, I thought, oh, there's a problem with hot starting because it started fine when it was cold. What I didn't realise was that, that it wasn't that. It was the fact that the magneto had, had suddenly gone halfway through the ride. So, and you know, it wasn't that it was, and so it would never start hot or cold after that. Anyway, there we go. So I'll take it all off. I'll send it all off again, see what they say. Ah, but, you know, I, I really thought, the reason I was taking it out today was like a celebratory ride and also just a double, double, double check that everything was okay. It's probably just as well I did because it's not. So, you know, oh, I'm pretty, you know, because, um, what's his name's been working on one? God, his name's, he's got the YouTube channel. What's his name? And I've been watching that a bit. I've forgotten his name. Uh, 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 he does all the mechanics as well, you know, and he's been working on one for somebody. And I've noticed he's got that head starting perfect every time and running perfect. And of course, I've been working on mine for over a year. I like to think I know what I'm doing and I'm sort of almost back at square one. Not quite a square one, but, you know, it's still not running right after all that time. So I'm a bit, you know, a bit down. But um, anyway, in some ways... In some ways, it's good because, of course, I can never fully trust that Magneto. Ever, you know, the guy who did it, you know, didn't do it right. And so I've always been at the back of my mind, is it going to go again? Because it's obviously, I wouldn't say he doesn't know what he's doing, but obviously it's it's not right. So I'll, I'm actually happy in some ways. I'm going to send it off to a different company. I know this time it will come back, you know, it'll be okay. And I'll have, I'll have faith in it because I haven't had faith in it. And justifiably so, because it's gone again. So in some ways, I'm kind of glad. I just you know, The problem is, of course, I won't be able to take it out for another ride until next spring because I'll send that off. It'll be away for about a month. You know, the weather, it should be good next Sunday. So I'm going to take either the Commando or the Trident out. I haven't made up my mind yet um, because hopefully I'll go out. The, the forecast at the moment, although it'll be November by then, but the forecast is for another fine day because it was beautiful out there. You know, it really was a lovely ride when the bike was going. But, um, yeah, so I'll take either the... I'll take probably take one of those two out for a final ride next next week. Probably the Trident. For, and I'll, because I've got a question mark over the running on that, so I'll see how that's doing. I'll, I'll see how I'm doing. Right. Anyway, there we are. Kind of back to the drawing board. But this winter, I know I've got to send a Magneto off. 
Then I'll, what I'll probably do is I'm going to probably take the oil tank off because I want to. I think I'm going to get that painted black, same as the toolbox. So I like that, so I have that painted black. I might chrome the instrument panel cover. I'm not sure. Got my clock. That's working. <laughs> Something. Hurrah. Um, a few little bits and bobs like that. No, uh, I just need. Oh, and I'm. Um, I'm probably going to, well, I'm going to have a look and see if I can change the front sprocket on the uh, the engine sprocket to up the gear in a bit, fit a bigger sprocket, no, because I do think it is a bit undergeared. As I said before, I think maybe this had a sidecar on it, who knows, or at least the gearing is for a sidecar, and uh, so it's quite low. And I'm fairly sure it'll be happier with higher gear, but I, I need to take it apart and count the number of teeth to begin with before we go any further. I, I don't know. But of course, with it not, not running, with that magneto not being right, you know, who knows? Who knows? It's just, it's not really happy above 40. It, it really isn't. You know, I took it up to 50 a few times, you know, but you, you can tell it, it's not happy. It's not been, you know, it doesn't like it at all. So maybe that's to do with the magneto, but I'll have a look at that sprocket anyway. So a few things to do over the, over the winter. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, it's his last ride this year, whatever. And when I find the time, I'll get that magneto off, get it sent off and start, start again. Oh, the joy. And, and you wonder why people don't want classifieds these days. You know, <laughs> the, 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 you probably know that the, the price of all bikes and in particular classic British bikes, they're plummeting at the moment. They've been bad for a few years and now they're plummeting. And, and there's, you know, a lot of bike, uh, a lot of bike shops are shutting down in that, apparently. You know, so even new bikes that aren't selling, I, I don't know. But certainly the, the cost of classic British bikes is, is, is going down rapidly. And, you know, to be honest, <laughs> when I come back from, you know, with all the hassle I've been having with this, I'm not surprised. <laughs> ah, the joys of, oh, what a hobby, what a hobby. Why didn't I take up fishing or something? In fact, I have. I've taken up golf. I looked. I took up golf only about a year ago, which I'm really enjoying. Kind of. It's almost as infuriating as having a classic bike in many ways. But you know, because to be honest, I'm, a, I'm actually pretty rubbish at sport. People think, oh, I can see. You know, you must be pretty good. At I'm rubbish at just about everything. And about one of the sports that I thought that I'd be kind of okay at, having done pitch and putt, would be golf. But. I'm now discovering that pitch and putt is quite a bit different to playing full golf. But there we go. Right, over and out for now. There we go. We live and learn. Come on, keep going, keep going.